There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Welcome to Cuisine with Jean, and this is Trevor Foote, and I've got great news. <laughs> a few weeks ago, Sterling Grimes was on the cooking show, and we started talking about the opportunity to be on the morning show on the second and fourth Wednesday of every month at 8.20, which is Thomas McDowell will be on the alternate ones. But we, I love to learn what's going on in the real estate market here. And nobody knows it better than Moorfield Realty, which is it, tra Trevor and Jay Hooks own that. That's right. Moorfield Real Estate. And you've been in, in there, you've been selling real estate a long time, haven't you? 2009. But we moved here in 97 and my husband, Tony, and Ken Moorfield built homes together. Mm -hmm. That's what brought us to Rocky Mount. And he's very busy right now. The market is still strong. Good. Um, there's low inventory, but that makes it strong mm -hmm. because once something does hit the market, it you know it does tend to sell quick, and the values are are staying strong. Good. So, when the marketing has changed so much, and it's so good because all of the the videos and the um, online marketing and stuff. I mean, you're yes. drawing people from outside the area too, aren't you? That's right. A, a lot of people from the DC area all the way to New York, they just see the values here and are coming. Um, and we do, we have great values and a great way of life here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Sterling Grimes was at the hospital for a while and she's mm -hmm. been with you for how it's long? Been, a couple years, maybe? Uh, yes, a couple. Yeah. Almost a year and a half now, I think. Uh -huh. She's doing great. Um, we have 17 agents, and they're all very strong and work hard. I wrote my stats down. I Just just a little okay. FYI, we have um, sold 275 homes to date this year. 75, this 73, year? Yes, 73 million. So just let that number, you know, yeah. don't let people think, oh, you know, it, I shouldn't sell my house now or I shouldn't buy now. It's always good in Rocky Mount. Hmm. We're not really, you know, we don't really go way, way mm -hmm. up or way, way down. I think we have a nice, stable area here. Are Lots you, of triangle agents coming. That's what selling. I was going to ask you because as I go to Raleigh on, on 64, well, eventually going to be 87, the builders are they're just yeah coming more yeah and more. lots of um, national builders. Dr. Horton is huge, and they have built in Belmont. They're already out of mm -hmm. there, and they're now in the county now, um, still going very strong, and they mm -hmm. do a great product. Um, so lots of good things. Oh yeah. Um, so Sterling and I will enjoy talking about that and taking questions, um, giving you tips. Mm -hmm meeting with people in the community that help with our, our real estate business. Um, it'll be fun. And even people who aren't ready to sell right now to go ahead and learn more about what's Absolutely. happening. Or, you know, I bump into people around town all the time and I, you know, somebody might say, you know, I'm thinking about selling my house. Well, let me tell you what the market is right now. I mean, it sounds really good and you can get more right. information by calling, calling you guys and you'll That's come right. and, and give them an idea of what some I folks we were going to I also wanted to talk about the fact that they do very Morefield Realty does a lot of philanthropic stuff as well as Tony um, her husband and you are now working with the Barnhill Foundation on a veterans home tell us about that. oh we're so thrilled they they came to us it's called helping a hero it's a national foundation um, and it's head headed by a gal named Meredith Eiler. She's so wonderful, smart, an attorney, and just had a passion for starting this, building homes for veterans all over the country. And she will connect builders. That's the key part. Um, builders who have land that they might want to donate, they can have the time to do it. And they approached Tony in July, which really isn't a lot of time because we want to try and get the family in by Christmas. So we have really just poured everything we can and, and a lot of, it's, it's such a heartwarming experience because so many community 
vendors and suppliers have donated. Great. And Meredith will help me, you know, connect with folks in other areas that we got concrete, for example, mm -hmm. donated from um, one of her contacts. Um, and of course, the Barnhill Foundation. Bob and Penny Bob, uh -huh. are amazing. That's why we're building one here, mm -hmm. because he's very involved with Helping a Hero and um, met the veteran. His name is Sergeant Jimmy King. He's amazing, and he has a, a beautiful, lovely wife and three children. Mm. And they're so excited to move here. So I hope that we can do a groundbreaking, um, well, it, we missed the groundbreaking, to be honest. We just wanted to roll, roll, roll. Mm -hmm. But they're going to do something that will have some press. Oh, when they come in at Christmas, I mean, the thought of it being in that quickly from July to yeah. getting them in by Christmas. So I'm so proud of Tony. You. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I've been really trying to help him with, you know, connecting so he's not mm -hmm. bogged down by the paperwork. But it's been a wonderful experience, and we're thrilled. Mm -hmm. wow. We might do another one if, you know, you know. I know there's a need, so. Oh, yeah. Now, is he, does he have a disability? Is that part of he it? He does. He, he, um, he lost a leg, uh -huh. and he has some um, hearing, um, but, you know, super positive. You Good. wouldn't even, never complains. He, he's, the whole family, they're wonderful. Great. Wow. Yeah, you. <laughs> I mean, this oh, just sounds I know. okay. So tr I asked Trevor what she was going to make, and she. You, this is so easy, and so delicious, and we're going to jump right into. It's a frittata, God. right? Yep, yeah, and a frittata, and they're so easy too because I am not a cook. In fact, my friends out there that might watch this, they're going to laugh because I'm not. I like to cook, but I just don't have time. Right. So I like the things that can streamline, and these you can make you know, in advance, freeze them, and then pull them out on a busy breakfast morning. Um, or you can save it up in like Thanksgiving morning when you're busy cooking in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. You make these and people can grab them, it's easy. Um, and I think you mentioned too, you could also put them in a lunchbox and take them, you know, to eat sure. for lunch when yeah. you're at work. And you can make, I'm making um, Swiss cheese, Swiss ham, I mean, Swiss cheese and ham, mm -hmm. mushroom, and a little onion. But you can do bacon, um, cheddar. You can just do cheese. It, they, put whatever you want in them. So they're easy. Okay. You're going to get um, started. You're yeah, I'm going to just, ham. yep, I'll chop the ham up. And this is just, you know, pre-cooked ham. Mm -hmm. I got, um, so you don't have, and you know, this, the mushrooms, of course, were in a little can. Um, I'm all for making things as easy as possible. Yes. So. This is just, um, and the fact that people can, can make and add and, you know, not add yeah. different things that they like. Make whatever they want. And That's make, right. I bet this would be fun to make with kids, too. I do, too. Except I think for the so. chopping part, possibly. Yeah. Depending on the age of them. So yeah. You, you could get, chop I, them in and have them put it all in. Tell us about your sons. I remember seeing your teenage sons when you were living oh. fairly close to us. And they've grown up, haven't they? They have. I, I remember Nate did a video for me nine when I first started real uh -huh. estate and I still have it and then I had him do another one when um for Tony mm -hmm. Tony's company and that's running on my um my email but he is doing great he's in Wilmington he's 21 now wow and then my older son Alex is 20 just turned 24 and he is working with Tony great with the builder husband mm -hmm. so I love it and he recently um got engaged so Super. lots of fun and somebody stuff. <laughs> he's known from this area right Emma Tedford they were um, they met in high school well they really met we've known her a long time so it's a very sweet story and mm -hmm. we're very excited and they're going to um, get married at Rose Hill oh wonderful. I mean beautiful mm -hmm. beautiful resource right here in our lovely Nashville area. What so. do you think? Does it will the son in Wilmington? What's his, his name? His name is Nate. Nate. Do you think Nate will come back and work with Tony I, also? Well, I he's thinking about working in real estate maybe. Oh, okay. Well, so, gosh, one for he's each trying of to you. figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love it if they all, you know, they're they're all if they all live here, that would be great. Uh huh. Yeah, I was telling her I've got one in Germany, and one in Berkeley, California. Oh, yeah. So with little beautiful little grandchildren. So it's yeah, I miss them, but but they're learning another language. It's awesome. Yeah, they really are. 
And these freeze too, you said, and there's no yeah. like flour or anything in them. It's no. eggs. And we're going to put the recipe on Cuisine with Jean website so you can make one, especially Trevor. I mean, what a great idea going into the holiday season. Right. Right. To think that these would be quick because I know Thanksgiving morning and all with the turkey in the oven and stuff, the last thing you want to do is, is pull out stuff That's and right. make another mess. But if you can get these. And Christmas too. Mm -hmm. you know, not having to cook in the morning. Mm -hmm. so. Do you do the cooking for Christmas or do you go to family or other place? Um, we, yeah, we. Does yeah, Tony do. cook? Tony doesn't Tony have any more good. time than you do, does he? So. <laughs> he does He does well on the grill. Oh, okay. And I we love cooking on the grill. Uh-huh. Um, Tell you what, let's take a break before you start cracking eggs and okay. putting it together, and we'll be right back. There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars, and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. We are back and Trevor Foote with Moorfield Real Estate is here and you got 17, we were talking about during the break, 17 people. That's amazing. Yes. And you, you've got a lot of young people who are just yep. Eager and you train them and aren't train they lucky we, that you train them? Yeah, we enjoy, Jay and I are always available by phone and it's, I enjoy doing that, mentoring. Mm -hmm. um, it helps you keep excited in the business. It's really fun. Um, what type of licensure do people have to get to sell real estate? Is there mandated licensure before you can even do it or can you get it once you start? Well, you have to take a class, the course, um, pass that and then you have the state test and then the national test. When Jay and I um, got our license in 2009, it was just it was just one test. Mm -hmm. So they're making it a little harder, and a lot of people are getting their licenses right now. Maybe not so much right now, but mm -hmm. a lot of people got in when you know COVID. That was a crazy real estate time. Um, we all were trying to figure out why we were in it. It was um, it was unbelievable. To How be did honest. it impact you when going through COVID? I mean, trying to show houses and stuff, and people were afraid to be around each other. And it was every day was a different. How do you navigate it? Uh -huh. But people were still calling, and people still wanted to come in. You know, we wore masks. We had we did a lot of virtual tours. Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't know how closings would happen where, you know, everything was just one day at a time, but it kept happening and happening and then got busier and busier. And we, we just could not shut down. I mean, we, we had strict, you know, rules and, um, we were safe, but it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. All over the country. <laughs> I, I think it was the same. Uh -huh. Um, oh. so a lot of people got in and now, now you really have to depend on your mentors and, um, you know, it's a different, mm -hmm. this is different now too. But if you've been doing it a while, I think the tried and true tactics that you use and, and skill sets you have will always work. Well, and I'm really happy for the younger ones coming in that they've got seasoned people working with y'all too, like right. you and Jay in particular. Well, and then they so. bring so much more too, mm -hmm. all the, the reels, the Instagrams, the stories. Oh, yeah. I TikTok, go on Facebook it's with, with Sterling and see, you know, this, she and this little do gem. Yeah, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> it's so cute. You no, know, very Yay, cute. finally sold and whatnot. It's like, it, you know, positive uh -huh. and and showcasing the positive is is key. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and is she stages? I mean, y'all do a little bit of staging, don't you? She does stage. Um, and tell which people is so what great. that means. Um, well, it, you. If it's, if it's a home you already live in, she will come in and actually move things around so that maybe the dining room looks bigger or mm -hmm. this flow is better. She's very gifted at making the space um, efficient mm -hmm. and, and to pleasing. To maximize the, the yield that you can get for it because if, if something's tight or heavily furnished or something, it can, you know, some people get turned off by that. But yeah. Sterling has the, the knowledge to really make it to maximize the appearance. Very she? gifted. She has her own little side 
business too, where she'll come and actually pick things for you. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely explore all that in the show. Mm -hmm. Lots of good, good stuff. Um, and now we're going to cook again. <laughs> so, cook again. Okay, um, so you've got, you chopped up the mushrooms, the yeah. green onions, the scallions, actually, the um, ham. Ham. Um, and then we'll scallions. do Swiss cheese, too. Okay. And I'll go ahead and just crack these. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. I'll put them on here. Maybe. Okay. Oh, it's okay. We can wipe this. We're in yeah. the kitchen. You can make a mess in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Mm. And then I do like to put a little heavy whipping cream in there okay. because it makes it fluffy and uh -huh. and full and so to filling. make a dozen, how many eggs does it take, Trevor? Um, between six and eight. Okay. Um, depending on how you know full you want it. Mm -hmm. I, I made them before where they're too full and then they, you know bubbles <laughs> <Yeah>. over. <laughs> so it's kind of a a, a balance there. Mm -hmm. But I think six to eight are work the best. And I would think, of course, your sons would want to eat more than maybe, you know, some people would, but, you know, is, is one or two kind of a, yeah. a serving? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And freezing them. You know, you freezing can put them in Ziploc them. bags and just pop them out kind of and, right. I guess, thaw um, them out overnight yeah. and heat them up that next mm -hmm. morning. Or even in the microwave. It's mm -hmm. fine. And what would you serve with them if you were thinking, like, you know, a veil of, Biscuits um, or toast or yeah, something like toast, that. Yeah, biscuits, fruit. Um, yeah, I love yeah. fruit. Mm -hmm. I think you are you going to do all? I think I'm going to do just six. six. We'll just do okay. six. See how that goes. Um, and how do you decide how much cream to put in? I just kind of till it looks right. Yeah, <laughs> I just put a splash or two. In. Uh huh. I <laughs> do like to shake this. Where'd you get this recipe? I'm curious. Um, you know, my Tony and I have been. We did um, keto diet for a little while. Mm -hmm. So that is basically just eliminating carbs. Mm -hmm. And this was a good recipe. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, you are encouraged to eat fat too. Um, so it was a good, easy one. Oh, they, well, the heavy cream is the fat and a little yeah. bit in the ham, but, mm -hmm. but also this fairly, you know, fairly healthy with the mushrooms right. and the. That's right. And whatnot. So you're getting a little bit of that. So but we're I like put all of this in. Idea of fresh fruit. Um, yeah, along with it. Be good. Um, so, um, do you each do your own video work to profile the houses, or do you have a do. person who comes in and helps with that? Or well, we do. Yeah, it's really your your phones are so great at all of that. But we do have a professional photographer. For stills, he's great, um, and he comes. You have to schedule in advance, but he's great. So we have our little methods that work well. So you're gonna and that Swiss cheese. Yeah, Swiss cheese, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Could give you a little bit of a warm, gooey, yeah, <laughs> texture going in there with it. Um, really Trevor, houses have really gone up in value from what they were at one point. Are people still kind of surprised? I mean, compared to other cities, we're just a real deal for what people get for the money. But I remember for at one point, houses were selling at a point that really was almost sad that, that we had to maybe sell them for that. But then it's the real estate market's completely come back, hasn't it? It really has come back. When we first started, Jay and I, 2009, oh. Other agents would say, why are you getting in the business now? It mm -hmm. was a tough time. We had so many on the market and very in the buyers had, you know, pick of whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, that was an interesting time too, but now it's the opposite. Mm -hmm. So it hold, values are holding very well. We just have to get those buyers to, you know, not be so nervous about the interest rate and just focus on your payment um, mm -hmm. and, um, a lot of times, too, the um, the sellers are looking for a smaller house. Um, mm -hmm. And one thing that my, my husband has done is he'll take, take a house and trade sometimes because the seller's nervous. Mm -hmm. um, don't They don't know where to go. They don't want to have to move and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So that kind of is an, a creative way of helping, helping mm -hmm. sellers. It's got to work numbers-wise and all, but it's a good... It's a good way to um, help sellers right now. Do you? I know in other areas of the country. I mean, my son in California sold a house, 
people were bidding over the asking price. Yes. Does that ever happen here where it people does. pay more? Wow, great. Well, it, it really did um, happen during the COVID years a little bit after mm -hmm. that too. Now, it, now it's slowed down a little bit, um, but but there's still strong offers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of um, triangle agents are coming and that they're used to, you know, bidding, bidding wars wars, and yeah. high due diligence um, fees, which we can mm -hmm. talk about in our show. But um, yeah, it, it's, um, our market's still strong and um, well, we're, we're seeing the, those um and I know the casino more is a little bit. The casino has been parked, um, and yeah. I don't know if it'll come back up or when it might. But that would certainly help our real estate market a lot. It wouldn't would. It? And actually, it would. You know, we'll, we will need more product for sure. So builders might mm -hmm. need to be. They're gonna eye all that land around, and it's gonna be a good thing. Mm -hmm. I heard that, that. I saw in the paper that Robbie Davis bought, and with his son Jason got the Birchwood Country Club property and they're going to put what 300 yeah I have I'm not sure if they started or not but yeah they're again that's we need the products so. mm -hmm. more houses okay mm -hmm. so these then would be yeah do, do we, we need to go ahead and put them in yeah yeah let's yeah. see that real quick and, and so do you put anything I don't because no I like this nonstick. they just pop right out you don't even have to put a little you know um paper or anything paper. yeah Oh, good. It's so easy. I think people would like to see about how much you put yeah, in each one. Yeah, and sometimes I'll... So they don't flow yeah, over and go all over um, the whole oven? Right, 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 right. <laughs> And I'll try and get some of this in there, too, because you don't want them all. Everybody gets a little bit of the, yeah. the goodies. So just about like that's good. Um, of course, all the, the um, rising up in there is due to eggs because there isn't anything else that would make right. it. Right. And then do they kind of settle back down? They do settle they back down. down. I was going to say, when I you know, made a batch recently, I'm like, oh, they kind of fell, but it, they're still good. <laughs> well, and souffles and all those things. That, yeah, the flavor is the same. Okay, let's take a break, and she's going to bring out some finished products, and we're going to taste them. So we'll be right back. There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Trevor, this is beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, did should we give you credit for all this? You made it possible, right? I know. Well, um, I Jean said, bring something, you know, to display the muffins and and so I thought about it, but I was with my friend Monica Seaman, who happens to be a local potter. And wow. I think it's so great to you know, a lot of people don't know that she's there. My husband built her house, and she's got a studio in her house. Um, does she sell out of her house or other places, does, too? She does. She's got a little bit. Um, she says she's not a good marketer, so I'm like, I'm going to put these out because they're Gorgeous. precious. Uh -huh. This is These are beautiful, you know, trees. She'll do a, a you know, trio like that, and it's mm -hmm. good on your table. And these, of course, are so fun. Um, beautiful. Can use those. I know halloween's over but you know thanksgiving, um, thanksgiving and, and just next year season. oh they're just so pretty and then she yeah. did this cake plate too that's really now she pretty. is i've had her commission to do a couple of weddings for me so she'll do a platter and put the bride and groom and the date on it and they're they love them and it's something mm -hmm. so sweet and you know personal personal yeah. um so well these are great let's taste them okay gosh they're still warm do you, did you bake them this morning mm -hmm. Mmm. They're good. Yum. Mm hmm We'll give the cameraman one, too. <laughs> Both of them. Mmm. They are really, really good. Tell us again when you and Sterling are going to be on. Um, the second and fourth mm -hmm. of every month, starting in November. On Wednesdays at 8.20. Wednesdays, 8.20. Um, yep, so I'm, tune in. We're still... Um, Figuring a name, but um, we're going to have a lot of fun, and you'll learn a lot. 
And and will you both be on every week, or you take? I mean, every other week, I, or we, you take turns? We'll see. Um, probably. Mm-hmm. We'd like to bring people in from the community. And people um, could probably can people call in and ask you questions. Ask too? questions a big part. We we'll, we'll do some trivia. Um, it'll be fun. Oh yeah, gosh, I know we have needed that type of thing. But I was in Rocky Mountain Business Builders, and we couldn't wait to hear what's going on with real estate. Everybody wants to know about real estate. They do. I mean, it, it impacts all of us. Our value of our homes, our value mm-hmm. of maybe even the tax. There's going to be a tax revaluation sometime soon too. I probably they shouldn't do it every that. eight years. <laughs> But anyway, these again, if Monica, if people are interested in talking yeah. to her, how do they get in touch with I'll, her? Let's put something down um, the with website? the website. Yeah, the, and the recipe, I'll do that. And you okay. can always call me um, to get in touch with her. Okay, and we'll put your number on there too. So remember, Trevor's at Moorfield Real Estate, um, owns it with Jay Hooks, and of course, Tony, your husband. You're in Moorfield. Put in Moorfield. Put, Mm-hmm. You build houses. So, Trevor, thank you. And I can't wait for your show to start. That's going to be a lot of well, fun. Well, Jean, you're the best. Well, thank you. <laughs> you're kind of, these are great folks. We'll have them on our website. Have a great day. There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount.